Don Gurnett, a professor at the U of I, designed what he calls just another piece of the puzzle. His piece, <laughs> called Marsis, involves a radar and an antenna that gather data on Mars' upper atmosphere. It's 130 feet tip to tip. It's low frequencies, and the reason we use low frequencies is to try to uh, search for water under the surface. That was the objective. The upper atmosphere that the radar measures is electrically charged with ions, like Earth's, giving it the name the ionosphere. This radar was able to gather data when a comet passed by Mars on November 7th, providing some of the first ever data of a comet interacting with a terrestrial planet. That's because comets only pass so near to Mars, or Earth, about every 10 million years. The data suggested that thousands of tiny meteors hit the atmosphere of Mars. Uh, you know, if you're if you standing on Mars, it would have been quite a spectacular event. The Mars Express has been in orbit for over 10 years now. However, many don't know much about the mysterious planet Mars. But here is what we do know. One, there is no water there now though there was millions of years ago. We never detected water. We detect a lot of permafrost, uh, which is frozen water. Two, though conditions were once favorable, scientists have not found signs of life. There are people that think there still may be microbial life living deep in the surface. And three, there is very little atmosphere on Mars, making things extremely cold. When you lose the atmosphere, that's a serious blow. <laughs> and uh, Mars is very, very cold now and uh, is unlikely to get a lot warmer. So where do the atmospheric gases and water go and why? The pieces aboard the Mars Express are searching to help solve this big puzzle. Katie Stites, Daily Iowan TV.